Seattle after running the ball for 200 yards four weeks in a row. We go to play the New York Giants, who is the 29th ranked team in, against the run. We decide we're going to throw the ball this day, you know, instead of implementing that. In order for you to, and, and this is my opinion, in order for you to get, and you were talking about taking what's there, about Jalen Hurst learning how to take what's there. And I don't mm -hmm. know, we don't know, we, we don't know what it is that Nick Sirianni is asking him to do or what the primary is down the field, okay? But what Gardner Minshew did was, hey, I know where my check down is. I'm gonna look at my primary. If he's open, I'm gonna give it to him. If he ain't open, I'm giving it to the check down right now. So. Mm -hmm. I don't know that Jalen Hurts really understands that. But my whole point is, is that there's no way, the, the way that you develop a young quarterback is you teach him to take what the defense is giving you. I just yeah. think that there's a method and there's a way. And, and you look at the greats who've done it before, you look at how a guy like Bill Belichick is doing it, Mac Jones is going to be a great quarterback. You want to know why? Because they are building him from the ground up. The proper mm -hmm. way. They're not asking him to do all the things that you ask a guy that's five, six, seven years into the league to do. They're asking him to do the novice thing. We're going to hand the ball off. We're going to go play action pass. And then once you've seen all the defenses and all the coverages and everything that there is to see, all the disguises, then we're going to turn you loose and let you do, you know, what you've been bred and taught how to do. Mm -hmm. I, I think that Nick, in a way, you know, he's got wide receiver he was a wide receiver coach and i think that in his background the thing that excites him the most is seeing a passing game you know shred a defense and he doesn't get that same thrill out of the running game.